I'm really excited to finally, finally share this video that we shot a little while ago at the Mr. Street Books. It is one of my favorite bookstore in New York. And as you know, this past year has been really hard on small businesses, so I'm really happy that Mercer made it through okay, because it is definitely a New York treasure. We visited the store to talk to the owner, that you'll meet in a few seconds. But before that, I have to do a little makeup you know, to start the day, basically. So make sure to really wash your hands. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna use a bit of concealer under my eyes. Actually, it's foundation, but I use it as a concealer. And then this nude uh, liquid lipstick that I adore. It's my favorite. I don't know if you can find it in the US. It's a pretty difficult color to find in here. I think it doesn't exist here. You guys can check, it's number two of Sephora lip stain and I use it as a liquid eyeshadow and I'm gonna add mascara on top and bottom um, I have these weird phases of once once like every three months all my lashes kind of fall apart and then I have amazing lashes I mean a good months of my lashes right now so I'm gonna put tons of mascara to enjoy that then this concealer on the cheekbones I love it because it's very dewy so it really catches the light doesn't look too metallic so and that's it basically so we're gonna go to the bookstore and I'm gonna show you around meet the owner and introduce you to Mercer bookstore um, I wanted to ask you a little bit on how you started how long has it been that you opened this store we opened it 30 years ago right okay. and here I am <laughs> you know, I wasn't gray-haired at the time, and now... I'll call it. What color was the hair? <laughs> I forget. Brown. Well, sort of your color hair. Okay. <laughs> yeah, brown. I like gray, though. There you go. Well, I got no choice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want people to know about Mercer Books? We try to have the widest possible range of good books by interesting writers, interesting people. And there you, and there you are, you know. They're just sitting here waiting for you. And you just start picking them up. See, I actually, that's why I put up, because people don't know this anymore, especially younger people. See that picture that's hanging there? Yeah. That's from the Battle of Britain. That's Hastings House. And, and the roof has come down, but they're still, but they're still browsing. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a famous image. Amazing. Yeah, it's an amazing okay. photograph yeah, for exactly that reason. And that's what I want everybody to be like, come in here. People come in, they come in for years and years. Some people come in every day or every couple of days or every week or every month or whatever, or every two weeks, whatever. <laughs> but what, what would you want to say to like the younger generation to inspire them to, you know, come to bookstores and pick up a book? Yeah, that's it. Exactly. It. Read real books, <laughs> you know? That's the statement. Yeah. No pictures. <laughs> Right? Lots of punctuation. I'm hearing that people don't like punctuation anymore. So that's ridiculous. You know. Drop it, your phone, pick up a book. Yeah, yeah, get rid of that darn Enjoy phone. Punctuation. You know. See my yeah, my phone has a hand crank on it, you know, even though it's a portable phone, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I got a message. I'll read it later. I'll read it tomorrow. <laughs> and reply, maybe. Yeah, yeah well, I'll reply, but I'll probably have to think about it for a few days. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. You have an amazing bookstore. Thank you. Um, we're super happy to share about it. So, and thank you. I'm going to go pick up some books in the meantime. All right. <laughs> thank you. Babe. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, well, thank you for watching. Make sure to support as much as you can in a safe way. It's important to show you and introduce you to this place. Thank you for watching, see you soon.